Well, our day has started. Little buddy's up wanting his breakfast. We'll go ahead and eat. Well, most of my garden looks good this morning. Looking to see if I see any more cucumbers up there. It's going to be a hot, sunny, shiny day, little buddy. I know we just got some big rain, but these pots and totes do not take too long for the water to uh, evaporate and for the plants to use it. So I do need to get some compost tea to a lot of this stuff pretty soon. Ain't that right, little buddy? He's going to walk around with me this morning. Look at those little tomatoes <laughs> on that little dwarf tiny Tim tomato bush. I mean, look how good everything looks out here this morning. There's a nice little cucumber right there. It's not a very big one yet. I'll leave it on there another day or two. There goes one. I think I'm going to go ahead and pick this one. Oh, <laughs> and this one down here, because look at that, it's pretty big. Look at the size of that. Isn't that pretty? I just don't know what I'm going to do with all of them. <laughs> I didn't really come out here to pick them this morning. I need to pick that one or it'll be too big. Look at that. <clears throat> and this one. <clears throat> Cucumbers, squash, and zucchini <clears throat> are two, three things that if you leave on the vine too long, they get too big. They'll get, the seeds will get real big and tough and hard. So if you eat the cucumber, or the squash, or the zucchini, you'll have to uh, cut out the seed, because you can't eat that. And I see where I got 
little mites down at the bottom down there or little eggs look like on my leaf I'm gonna have to come back through and get those off keeps rubbing on my legs down here <laughs> I'm probably going to have to get some so, some soap or something and put to this because I see some of my leaves are wilting and that's a sign of a squash borer worm and I don't want it to kill my plant but I've got a couple of leaves that are dying off I've got some that are turning yellow And that one went to bad, so I'm going to just throw this in the compost tea bucket. And let it work for me. And I think that's what happens is happening to this. There may be a worm eating the base of my plant I don't know or it may have just got too much water because we had so much rain and it all came at one time so there's a, do a lot of different reasons that you know the yellowing of your fruit can happen I got a little melon started there Oh, look, 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 look. I got a watermelon. That's a crimson watermelon right there. Can you believe it? <laughs> a little bitty watermelon. Oh, I got another one. There's one on this side, too. Look at that. Those are those little crimson watermelons. I hope they make it. <laughs> so that's two on there so far. get this vine off here. I don't like these vines growing up my plant. Some of those things will kill your plant. And that's definitely got a squash bug in that thing. That's what happened to my plant. Look at there. Oh, what's happening to this one too look at that see that orange looking right at the base of my plant that means I've got a squash bore worm that has infected this plant that's why it quit producing on me so that one's probably not gonna make it <laughs> I've got to I've got to put some stuff to it. I'll do that later today. Cuz if I don't it's going to completely kill my plants. I don't know, it may have been getting to this one too. But I'll take care of that later today. You can get BT different types of uh pesticides to take care of that on my cabbage too
this is the first year they've done my uh, squash that way. Usually I have a pretty good harvest of squash. I'm going to check my plant again. Because I, I know the first cucumber was hiding under the bottom. <laughs> So, yeah, it's going to get to that one, too. Oh, it already has. I'm going to have to do something about it. I think that's what killed that other squash. Now, this one, I don't think it was the sun. It was the squash borers got to it. Those boar worms. So I'm going to have to... Looks like it's getting to all of my squash this year. But yeah, you, you see signs of your leaves dying or all of that. And I didn't get to mine quick enough. Because I'd been down with my back, so. like I might lose some of my I already have lost some of my squash plants there's another little carrot <laughs> but see how it, the root is curled up that's because that was a transplant, and when I transplanted, I didn't get the uh, roots real straight. And see how it's growed, curled around at the bottom? That happens when you transplant carrots. There's another one over there, but I'm not going to pull it because it's not quite big enough yet. And see that little thing? It went ahead and ripened up even after it fell off. But I'm gonna leave it there because it'll it'll produce a volunteer plant for next year. Got a beetle under there. <laughs> so I don't know, there's quite a few of my squash that's not <laughs> not gonna make it this year. I'm dropping cucumbers. <laughs> They got to this one too. See? So that's three squash plants I've lost <laughs> to those squash borer worms. There goes me a cucumber there. I can leave that there another day or two. It hasn't got to this one yet, but I, I need to spray it with BT or something just to keep it safe. <laughs> Some people, they take a syringe and inject that BT into the squash plant. They claim that uh, gets into the plant and the leaves. That way when the squash burr 
more worm starts chewing on the plant, they immediately stop because it's got that stuff in the, in the plant and it'll kill the worm and it saves your plant. <laughs> so, yeah, I need to get something out and go around to all of my plants, my squash and my All of my squash, so it has a chance. <laughs> Ain't that right, little buddy? We got to do something to protect our plants or we'll lose them. <clears throat> I know just soapy water will kill a lot of the parasites that get on the leaves. But when you get those squash borer worms... You've got to get something a little bit stronger than soap. <laughs> and BT seems to, to work. But if they're already into the plant, you've got to inject that plant to kill them. Spraying it on the outside will just get rid of the ones on the outside. It's not going to get rid of the ones that are already penetrated into the stem of the plant. So... You better go ahead and eat. Go ahead and eat your food. He ate a little bit. What you think, little buddy? Well, I wanted to get on here and just show you that. If you've got squash plants and they seem like they're suffering, and if it looks like they have already got into the stem of your squash, you need to get your syringe and some BT, mix up your <clears throat> solution, and then inject your stem of your plant. And the leaves, too, the stem of the leaves, because they've already penetrated that plant. <clears throat> Spraying it on the outside is not going to do any good. It'll kill the ones on the outside, but if they've already penetrated that, the stem of your plant, they're inside the plant. <clears throat> And the only way to do that, to get rid of them that way, if that happens, is to <clears throat> inject the poison into the plant itself. So I wanted to give you that tip, let you know what's going on in my garden, that i got to fight a problem with these squash borers or I'm going to lose all of them. And I'll get back with you with, <clears throat> with some more tips.